And so, so yeah, so we're, we're kind of together launching a platform where we'll offer our tattoos as NFTs first, you know? So you're, you're gonna own that thing. All right, so the world's changing <laughs> again. But the world is always changing, so there's nothing, nothing, nothing new there. But I, I guess you know today we're we're here, we're here to talk about what y'all are doing as a part of it. To talk about kind of like putting together the the original with with the new in a way. Mm. We got we got to find ways to 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 put like breathe heart and soul back back into them. But um, in summary, there's there's you know, new technology, new ways to, to share art with people and new ways to, to share original art with people. And you guys are putting together a- uh, We're tell, trying to keep up with you. You're, you're, yeah. you're, my, you're my tech oracle. I have a question, question for, for both you guys. I, I'm, I'm curious how this relates to what we're talking about. In your experience, why do people get tattoos? You know, people get tattooed to get laid to uh, be cool, to stand out, to show dedication to their culture, uh, pride for their family. It's, it makes people just feel better. And especially during the pandemic, I was getting so many calls, like in the heart of it, they want to change the way they feel. You know, it really does affect people different, but it's interesting to see how obsessed people get with this, it's, it's like drugs. All right, so then for me to come with, with, to the idea of, of tattoos, I think there's something fundamental in the, you know, tattoo artists are fine artists, but it just happens, so happens that your canvas is, you know, something that is very difficult to pass on through the generations. Right, and it's also kind of like you're talking, like music has migrated into digital platform, but tattooing is the thing where it's like, it's rooted in flesh and blood. You know what I mean? So it's like, how could that possibly exist? I, you know, have struggled with that. I mean, my whole career, it's like I do all these other projects, you know, I'll do like, you know, fashion collabs and all this stuff as a way to like, take this little trick I can do and give it a bigger life. You know, when you and I first started talking about NFTs as a, a device to add another layer that those tattoos could have a bigger life. Like for me, it took a long time to like, really grasp it until you brought up like, the baseball card analogy, you know, we're like, NFTs are like digital baseball cards. And because all the questions apply where you're like, mm -hmm. all right, well, it's a baseball, it's a baseball card and it's a Mickey Mantle, you know, rookie, who cares? You could photocopy it and have it. And you're like, well, yeah, you could photocopy it, but then it's not the one, you know, it's not the thing. Exactly. And it's like, okay, well, why is the Mickey Mantle one worth more than the other one? It's like, well, because of his cultural relevance and because of people's emotional attachment to it, you know, and that's, it, it, it like anything collectible, like the, the cultural impact of an image or design or a style and, and people's craving for that and nostalgia for it, that's value. The, you know, the reason is simply cultural, you know, cultural relevance. And there are digital representations of, representations of, of tattoos, but it's called Instagram. Yeah. And, it's, and it's kind of, there, there's actually less than something special about it. Like it's actually sort of made the value decrease mm. and we have this opportunity to make the value increase. Toons did most of it, but I had a couple out there, you know, it's like doing all the tattoo designs for like Grand Theft Auto, mm. you know, and you're talking about like, you know, that versus, you know, sitting in the studio tattooing like arm by arm by arm, like, you know, the cultural impact of like designing two tattoos that like millions of kids see, you know, mm versus like you could spend 30 years tattooing in the studio and not have the reach, you know, and the eyeballs and like connectivity that those drawings had through, you know, through digital outlets. You know, what's coming is really about ownership um, right. because, you know, you do that tattoo and it lands in Grand Theft Auto, it's locked in Grand Theft Auto, right? right? Like that's not really owned by anyone who plays Grand Theft Auto. Right. Like I can buy Grand Theft Auto and now, okay, maybe, you know, yeah. but 
it, it's this little world. What, what's coming though is this world where I'm gonna be able to buy my tattoo from you, right? And maybe that comes with a tattoo in the real world, maybe it doesn't, right? But, I, but, but through that ownership, I, it's actually portable. I can take it to more than one place. I could, I could in, in, in theory, technically, have that when I'm in Zoom. I can have it when I'm in Grand Theft Auto. I can have it when I'm in Fortnite. I can have it when I'm in Roblox. Like that's technically what's possible with this. And that's the big difference. Like right now, you know, if I, if I you know, if, go, if you go back 15 years or however long ago it was, if I buy something in Farmville, right. it has value in Farmville right. and nowhere else. But what, what you guys are building is, you know, you're building in this kind of open digital assets world that didn't exist 15 years ago. Right. Where I, I like that. I, I can like, have ownership and yeah. I can take it with me anywhere. Yeah, like the internet originally was about complete democratization. It's about giving everyone access to everything. And, and yeah, you know, like as creators, like we pumped our stuff into that, you know, it'd be cool. Like here, like here, everybody, here's my thing. Um, here's the stuff I make. But then now here we are in that situation where everyone has access to like all the stuff we do. It's like, how do you have, how do you create specialness in that world? So yeah, we're, so we're putting together a collective of tattoo artists, you know, who, who really, you know, have kind of paved our own way in the tattoo world. And, and basically it's tattooers who, who have, who have become collectible, you know, where it's like people get tattooed by us and brag about it. It's like, oh, here's a way for them to kind of prove that, you know, that is like a cartoon tattoo and it's not just a screen grab. And so, so yeah, so we're, we're kind of together launching a platform where we'll offer our tattoos as NFTs first, you know? So you're, you're gonna own that thing. You're gonna own that design. And, you know, it might be unique. It might be a small addition, whatever, you know, whatever the artists wanna do and then getting it applied to your skin as a tattoo is an option, you know, is secondary. If you're, a, you know, like there, I'm sure there's people that are huge cartoon fans that, but like would never get it tattooed on them. But like, but I want that thing. I want that artifact of his world. And yeah, so we're, we're launching it and we're going to, we're going to offer, um, you know, our images as NFTs with the option to get tattooed and kind of shift the emphasis from the application process to the artwork itself. And you know, see if the world comes with us. How, was it hard for Scott to convince you? <laughs> you know, it wasn't that hard, man, at all. He told me the list of artists. Uh, we all cover a different area. Um, and it was uh, exciting, man, because I'm always trying to step forward with technology. I like old school shit, and I love technology. But then, you know, I'm down. So it's, it's really about um, taking the art as far as it can go and keeping that... that authentic, you know, pull of the pen or the, or the uh, stroke, you know what I'm saying? Having that, this stuff is still, even though it's digital, it's done by hand, it's done off, off the head. And uh, to be able to capture that and own it is, is really cool. It's true that for sure the technology that you're using today will evolve right. in the next 12 months, not just the next right. you know, 20 years. But what, what you have is you have you have that item, and that item is 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 unique, um, and then you'll be able to move that unique item to whatever the, Play, the technology yeah. is tomorrow. Because remember, like you know, what you're really getting when you get the NFT is you're getting the ownership. Yeah.